Hey, welcome back to Chia Talks. Today I wanted to show you guys a little bit about uh, my day-to-day life as a realtor, what I do, uh, what my schedule is like, uh, and um, not only that, today is a special day. Today is my birthday, March 2nd, 1989. And um, you know, it would be such a great gift if all of you guys could hit that subscribe button and not only just that, also the bell button right next to it so that way you get notifications every time whenever a new video like this shows up so without further ado let's just get right on to the vlog all right i am driving to i'm driving to a home inspection right now for one of my clients for one of my buyers and um wanted to sh well, i wanted to share with all you guys uh why it's so important to get a home inspection so uh, this buyer, my he's doing a mold inspection. He's doing a uh, pest inspection. He's doing a general home inspection. He's doing a roof inspection. So he's getting four inspections done, and um, he's paying like about eight hundred bucks for all of these inspections. Uh, we just got into contract, and so we're doing the due diligence periods right now. But I wanted to share this with you guys because. Doing a home inspection is so key because you never know what you're gonna find on the home that you're preparing to buy for you and your family. And so it's better to know the surprises now than to find out when you're living in it. You know what I mean? And so having an inspection done on your home is so important because first of all, if if you find something wrong with the home, you get it negotiated with the seller to see if they can fix it before you buy it and move in. Uh, you get to negotiate with them. Uh, if they don't want to fix it and you're going to do it yourself, you can ask for some money at closing. Uh, or you can tell them to just reduce the price down, you know, whichever floats your boat. And um, I highly always recommend my clients to get a home inspection, even for sellers. You know, you want to do a home inspection because, again, you know, you want to be able to sleep at night. You want to be able to uh, um, know that whatever is wrong with your home, you know it, especially as the owner. And so, I think that a lot of times people overlook these inspections. You know, they they walk in and they say. Oh, uh, this home looks nice. It's moving ready. It's great. And yeah, the seller's gonna disclose to me what it is that I need or what is it uh uh what it is that's wrong with the home that they know of. And that's the key word is that they know of. Sometimes, you know, just because you're a homeowner, you might not take care of your home. And so you may not be in you may not even know what's going on inside that attic or underneath that subfloor or the roofing, the gutters, the dry rot on your wood eaves and your uh, fascias. You know, you don't know what's going on because you're just living there, eating there, breathing there, sleeping there. And so, you know, do a home inspection. I highly recommend that you do a home inspection or if you don't know how to do it yourself, hire a professional to come and do it for you, you know? and. Sometimes these companies, they warranty their work. Meaning that if they said that something is wrong with the home, meaning that if they said that something is wrong with the home, it's wrong, something's wrong with the home. Or that item on the home. Or that particular part of the home. Or if they said that the, ho the, uh, uh, the HVAC is great, and then they warranty it, you move in within 90 days and they still warranty it, now you move in, the HVAC isn't working, they come back and look at it and inspect it for free and fix it for free because they warranty their work. And so, you guys always gotta remember that this home that you're planning on living in is going to be a investment for you. It's like one of the biggest investments a person can uh, spend their uh, money on is a home. And so definitely make sure that, you know, you know all the ins and outs of this home. All right, so 
after I uh, met up with these home inspectors, so a lot of times what I do is I'll meet them at the property and I'll give them the keys to open up the home. And um, this will probably take them like two, three hours to do the inspection. So, you know, I can't be staying there uh, for those two hours. So I would just uh, give them the keys, open up the home for them to inspect. And then when they're done, I'll come back and lock up everything. I just purchased a car this past week because my uh, 2003 Honda CRV broke down and um, the repairs wasn't uh, wasn't worth the investment on fixing up that car and so I decided to instead use that money to down a 2016 Toyota Prius. Now, before all you guys say, oh man, why'd you get a Prius, why, why? Okay, so before you guys say anything, yes, I downed a 2016 Prius. Because you gotta understand, my 2003 CRV needed a lot of repairs. And it was, for me, it wasn't worth investing all that money into fixing it, knowing that something may have popped up in the future. And you know, me as a realtor, I'm always driving and I need a reliable car. And um, time is money for me. Like I was out of commission for a few hours and that hurt my business. And so number one reason why I got a Prius was because it saves me a lot of gas and money. Because with the CRV, I was getting like 200 miles on the full tank. But my Prius, I'm getting like 500 plus miles on a full tank, exactly. So that's what I'm talking about. Because as a realtor, I drive all over the place. And so our Prius was practical. All right, just got done making a few calls. And um, yeah, I am now driving up to meet up with a client at a house over in the north, nah, I mean south, over in the south Natomas area. And um, this home is near Garden Highway. It's actually near River, Sac, uh, American River. No, Sac River. <laughs> and um, this part of town in Sacramento is a little bit is a little interesting because it's in the flood area of course because it's right next to a river and so um, since we're on that topic I wanted to talk to you guys about insurance you know when you are buying a home you know a lot of times people don't really consider uh, the surrounding areas or they don't really consider uh, insurance you know and uh, depending on the insurance you have the company what their guidelines are sometimes they may request certain reports on the home that you're about to buy whether it's a roof report saying how old the roof is uh, if there's certain dry rot in the home they may want to get that fixed before insuring the home because of course they want to avoid the cost from them having to, having to pay out of pocket and so for this particular area being a flood area, you have to have flood insurance. It's required. You are obligated to having flood insurance. And so if you don't want to pay that extra uh, couple hundred dollars a year for flood insurance, then you're out of luck. You're going to have to look in a different area. And so um, these are some of the things that you always gotta consider when you are buying a home is the insurance. And um, yes, it is raining now. No, I know that was a little dramatic but you guys gotta understand if you guys live here in Sacramento you guys know that it hardly rains 
like we are in a drought. Heck, I can't even water my lawn more than once a week. Right? Right? It's actually been hailing here in Sacramento. Can you believe it? Like it's been hailing so much that it looks like snow. In fact, some people would actually take their kids outside to build a snowman out of the hell just because it's been nuts. Um, but we need it anyways. California and Sacramento is, uh, we're in such a drought. So whenever there's rain or hell, whatever for that matter, it's going to always help. Okay, so I just got done showing the home to my client. And man, this home was overpriced. It just came back on the market. And they did reduce it. They did reduce it. But the reduction still didn't make sense. So I have a feeling this home may still be on the market for a while. Before it actually gets some uh, offers coming in. They might have to do some work to it. Or like lower the price a little, a little bit more. Just because, you know, when you're competing, when you're listing your home sellers and um, you're competing with other sellers in the area and if your price is the same as theirs but theirs looks more appealing or you know just looks more moving ready for the price that home is gonna sell quicker and people's gonna most likely choose that home over yours you know so you gotta consider your competition. You gotta also like listen to your realtor when they give you advice on what you should or should not do when you're listing the home. So pricing it right, you know, is huge if you want your home to sell in a timely manner. If you're not in a rush, you know, you got all the time in the world, then yeah, that's great. That's perfectly fine. You wanna test the water, go for it. But if you're looking for it to sell quick and have the highest potential for multiple offers coming in, you gotta price it right when you're putting it on the market. You know, that's just uh, what I recommend for all my sellers is you gotta price it right when you're uh, putting your home on the market. And not just that, you gotta present it right the first time, you know, because the first few weeks of it being new on the market is so crucial for it to potentially sell because homes that tend to be on the market longer than 30 days or even 20 days here in Sacramento market a lot of people tend to a lot of buyers tend to stay away from and not want to look at it if they're new let's say for example seller a puts their home on the market and they didn't list it correctly and now it sits on the market for 30 days. Buyer, a new buyer comes in and says, oh man, I don't wanna look at this home. It's been on the market for a long time. Something might be wrong with it. Did somebody pass away? Uh, does a home need a lot of work? You know, is it listed too high? You know, these are all the questions that these buyers are running through their heads. And now they're freaked out about it. They don't even wanna step foot in the, in the home. You know, and so, you gotta list it right, especially for the first few weeks of it being on the market because you wanna have the right amount of exposure, market it correctly, and you know, make sure that it sells. And so this home that I showed needed a lot of work. It looks like they painted over some, some black spots that look like mold. You know, it looked like it. It was black, they painted over it, you could tell, and it's still showing. And like, when you walk in, there was a certain smell, like a, a wet smell. And you know, that got my buyer, like, super paranoid. Like, man, they want this much? In this other house that we saw the other day, is selling their, their home for this much? And this home needs all this work? Oh man, I'll just stay with the other home. You know what I mean? And so, be careful when you list your home. Make sure that you list it correctly and make sure that, you know, you listen to your realtor.
So this is how Asher acts like whenever I come home. See how he's, see how he's begging to come out? Yeah, he's in his kennel. Every time when I come home, every time when I come home to uh, feed him, that's that's what he does. He howls, he barks, he scratches on the gate, he bites on it, he thinks he can open it. That's what I go through. Every time whenever I come home to eat lunch. That is it you guys yes yes my um my wife my kids they uh bought a cake for me today because again it's it was my birthday that was a big surprise for me so um i just want to thank you guys cherish dante um uh, nally for uh buying my cake and um uh, singing me happy birthday you know it's once a year thing you know so so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh vlog um Remember, if you haven't already, uh, click that subscribe button and that bell so that way you don't miss any videos coming up. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.